Good morning everyone and thanks for hanging out with me. It's time to do the 130 km an hour range test with the BMW iX50. This car has a 111 kilowatt hour battery, the biggest battery I've ever driven in a car. And so 105 kilowatt hours can be used. It's all wheel drive, has 523 horsepower, but I will drive in efficient mode and I think then it's just a rear wheel drive. I don't know for sure. Um, and I'm expecting 350, 360 kilometers and you think, yeah, it's not a lot, but today it's one and a half degrees, I will have the heat on. This car has 21 inch winter ties on, 255, uh, 50 R21. And let's look at it a bit. So I've driven the 40 already and it's the same car, looks the same. It's just different battery, different motor. I, it's charging pretty well at 97% right now, but when I plugged in at 91, it was only 25 kilowatt because the battery is cold, even though I was on the highway and driving a bit faster and accelerating a few times, but that didn't heat up 105 kilowatt hours. <laughs> But 47 at 97% is pretty good. The car doesn't show a charging speed in the car at all. It just shows this weird thingy here. So it goes to 195. I'm guessing this is the peak charging power it has. It just tells me that it's done in 26 minutes. And that is from 97% to 100. The car is only 3,000 kilometers on there. I have to reset my trip. Let's go in here. It even shows that the door is open. Cool. And reset. I'm in efficient mode. And that's all I need. Climate will be on 22, 23. We'll see how warm it is. I have it on auto. And I have the seat heater on very high. We'll see. I don't want to be freezing, seat heater is crap. Look at these ginormous winter tires. And where was it? I can't see. There it is. 255 50 R21. Good year, all four the same. And I want to thank Auto Liebmann here in Passau. Uh, they gave me this car, wonderful BMW dealer, they have more locations. They gave me this car for a day and 500 kilometers, that's so cool. I mean, this car is above 100,000 euros, so thanks to them. And link is in the description below. And maybe you want to consider becoming a channel member, a YouTube channel member, because you get a lot of perks, you get videos early, and uh, I give information if there's something happening, like I was invited to two things. <laughs> and, and stuff like that and pictures and all of this behind the scenes is a lot of fun also the same on patreon and then of course you can uh, support me on paypal if you want to um, I'm, I'm very thankful for that because it makes me go at some point youtube full time but not right now can't afford it so far um, and then of course merch somewhere down here is a, a hoodie and there's a lot of other stuff oh, everything is just to support me I'm on my way, I drive 133, well if I have to, if I pass this car here because it's going slower, I even have auto steering on, I did that with the iX42, it's, it's just amazing because you don't have to steer, you just have to touch the steering wheel and it notices that you're there. The only problem is when you pass you have to use the full blinker otherwise auto steer doesn't disengage and then it wants to keep you in the lane. And then when you are on the lane, so like now, auto steer is off. And then when I'm here, it takes a bit. And then it's, it has the road and it steers itself. And it does it very well and very comfortable. It's so quiet in here. I love it. A com comfortable, quiet, 133. Consumption is a bit high, but it was no, focus. It was even a, a 500 because it was uphill with 130. The first 10 kilometers, we drove 23 kilometers and we are already at 
<laughs> but again, it was the uphill one. Uh, nice drive after live stream here. Not a lot of people, 24, but the quality people. And by the way, the, the, the infrared light that you see here, you don't see that in, in, with your eyes. This is just what the camera sees because this is the, the, the sensors from BMW to check if you're really there <laughs> and not that you're asleep. So driving attention detection and stuff. And uh, let's just go after heat on 22. And I, but only the driver. Uh, um, I have the, 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 the climate for the rear and for the passenger. I have the fan on zero. Ooh, that's an old car. <laughs> old Volvo. And um, yeah, I'm an efficiency mode. And see that here. Efficiency mode. I don't know if it really just takes the rear wheels. Uh, there's no, nothing that indicates that. I'm at 75%, drove 83.5 kilometers. Consumption is pretty high at 312. Oops, car tells me I have 300, almost 300 kilometers of range. Um, it's two and a half degrees out there. I still have the heat on 22 degrees in auto and with um, um, seat heater. Anything, everything else is off though, you can see here. This is the for the for the passenger. This is all off. And there you go back. Yep. I just discovered the auto lane change, how it works. I will show you in a second because it's 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 good. The um, it does the auto lane change a bit too fast, so it goes into the left corner a bit too fast. What you have to do is, as in other cars, I just didn't know. Hold the steering wheel, just tap, and then. It does it itself and when there's a car beside you it vibrates and so it keeps the self-steering on the whole time. You can see that with the green uh, the green steering wheel and I can do it here as well and I go to the right, blinks, then you get the, the, the arrow in the arrow, arrow and it does it and, and then auto steer never turns off. So cool, works amazing. Like I said, it's just a bit fast that it changes the lane. And I looked in the settings, there's nothing you can do. It can just turn it on and off. The, the distance, by the way, there is a setting in the in infotainment system and it says do it automatically and it, and it works okay. No need to change it. But you can set it to, to lower distance and higher distance, but it's fine for me. I'm at 50%, look at that. I drove 175 kilometers, that would mean full range of 350, if this is correct. Uh, but it's also, um, I did not drive uh, always 133. There's a construction zone that will go through now again soon. Seven kilometers, one lane, and people are driving around 70. Now that, screwed up my average speed and usually I don't go that far but with this car I can do it. <laughs> 132 kilometers to go and I have 195 kilometers of range that is 63 kilometers of margin should be fine. I 
I'm at 25% and I'm going extremely slow. I changed the highway again and thousands of trucks and thousands of cars and they drive slowly. Um, so my average speed will be slow. Um, I drove 275 kilometers, average consumption 285. Again, because of slow, uh, it would be above 290, 295, something like this. Drive so far is good. Um, yeah, it's 38 kilometers to the Georgia. Car thinks I arrive at 1045. I can see that up here, even though I'm not in the map. And I can see it in the head-up display. It is 35 kilometers, still I have to do something. And this car just goes out without looking. Okay, I arrived with 16% and let's look at our data. Why can I see my data? There it is. I drove 312 kilometers. Average speed is so slow. Just going in here was horrible. I would say 232 hours 35. It wouldn't be like that. But again, consumption would also be higher because my average speed is, was so low. But I will calculate this all and then tell you. Okay, we did it, not a good run. Car shows 312 kilometers, Google Maps says it's 311, and with 16%, that would mean 370 kilometers of range. Today, with this consumption, I put all the data here as usual. Put it here so you can see both the car, me, and the data. T uh, tires, temp temperature, it was between two and three degrees and the consumption uh, average speed is 120 kilometers an hour and usually it's above 125 almost 127 sometimes when it's really perfect um, uh, and the heat wasn't too too extreme today and it wasn't too cold yeah, but this was i expected 280 but with with a, the real average speed it would have been 290 even almost 300 so that's a high consumption but beautiful car i will now drive it down to around under 10 percent i'm at 16 and then do the charging test here see if we get 195 kilowatt okay that's it for me thank you much for watching have a great day and take care bye